Hello and welcome to Mike in the Morning. Today is Wednesday, June 17th. On this day, in 1885, the Statue of Liberty arrived in New York Harbor. No, it didn't arrive all in one piece. That would have been quite an effort, hauling that 450,000 pound statue across the Atlantic Ocean from France in one piece. Actually, it came in 350 pieces, in 200 cases, and had to be assembled on Bedloe's Island, later named Liberty Island, in 1956. The light from Lady Liberty's torch can be seen as far as 60 miles away. Just like the Statue of Liberty, a lighthouse shines its light far into the distance helping to guide others to safety. You need to ask yourself, are you a beacon of light or a beacon of darkness? Do you radiate light and joy and happiness to all around you? Or do you radiate negativity? Are you sending out positive vibes into the universe? Or is your outlook one of pessimism, antagonism, and hostility. George Washington, one of our founding fathers and the first president of the United States, was quoted as saying, it's far better to be alone than to be in bad company. Try to surround yourself with people who give you positive energy and focus on the good things in life and avoid associating with spiritual vampires. My wife Sharon and I tell each other all the time how grateful we are for each other. I remind her how blessed my life is with her in it. Expressing gratitude for others not only raises them up, but lifts us up as well. We cannot help but feel happy when we see that others are happy too. Well, there are a lot of couples that we know who never openly express love and affection for each other. They never hold hands, never touch one another with tenderness or utter a kind and loving word. Sharon once asked a woman she knows why she never tells her husband that she loves him. The woman shrugged with indifference and said, he knows. Well, perhaps he does, but the person likes to be reminded every once in a while. Couples need to set aside one evening a month for a date night. Take some time to remind your significant other how much you appreciate them sharing their life with you. Sharon and I hold hands all the time. It's rare that we can be walking or riding in the car or sitting beside each other and not touching each other in some way or another. Recently, we've noticed a shift in behavior of those around us. Sharon told me she saw that people who normally don't express affection are following our example in holding hands. Maybe it's because seeing us doing it gives them permission to do the same. Perhaps our display of affection serves to remind them how appreciative they are for one another. Kind of osmosis, I guess. All I'm saying is, you don't have to make a conscious effort to become a balcony person and lift someone up. All you have to do is be a one by example. Be a beacon of light and not a beacon of darkness. It isn't hard to raise another person up. Comment on something unique about them. Encourage friends to use their gifts and their talents. Offer a kind word to a stranger. As Glenn Campbell reminds us, if you try a little kindness, then you'll overlook the blindness of narrow-minded people on the narrow-minded streets. I'm Mike Cleary. Till next time, have a fabulous day.